Oh man, this place, Palm Bay, how great is this, huh? This is amazing. I can't believe we convinced them to host a pool party on a Friday. Right? How sweet. I know. We just get so, to hang out here all day. So, this pool this is good. I love it. This is, is a really a really nice duck. This is a great duck. Hey, hey guys, sh yeah. show, getting ready to start. Oh, uh, show, show. Oh, paddle. paddle. Paddling the wrong way, Curtis. Do you even know how to no, paddle? You, the worst. You are not in the Boy Scouts. I'll be there. Last one there. Live from Palm Bay Club, this is First Coast Living. Gentlemen, so nice of you to join us. I win, I win, I win. I touch, I touch the chairs first. Welcome to a live edition of First Coast Living. We are live at the Palm Bay Club having an absolutely phenomenal time. The sun is out, the birds How are nice singing. How nice this place? It's nice when they let us get out of the building every it once is, in a while. It's very nice, and of course, the pool party today. We've got some people out. We're going to be able to explore here. We've got Chef Tony cooking. I can hear yeah. the grill. Yeah. He is cooking up good. some steaks and some mahi-mahi on the grill, yeah. and it's awesome. If you don't know where Palm Bay Club is, I actually used to live probably about uh, a par five that way. <laughs> uh, and it's right down here in the Bartram area uh, off of Old St. Augustine. Back to south is probably uh, a good par five, par three that way. <laughs> Golf terms. Um, but yeah, so we're right references. here. References. Hey, we'll be with you in a sec. <laughs> the duck. Yeah, right down here, Bartram area, Old St. Augustine Road. Um, really cool area. And I've never seen an apartment complex like this, and you're about to see that. Well, and we're going to go hour. in depth. You're going to take a look at the dog park coming up. We're going to do a little cooking in their outdoor kitchen. That's right. We're going to take a look at some of the amenities, yeah. going in and looking at the indoor movie theater. You guys are going to be swimming in the pool. There's all we kinds get to, of fun stuff. We get to interview some of the residents, too, and see what it's actually you like. Two to do. Really yes. <laughs> I pity the residents. I don't yeah. know if they know what they're getting themselves oh, into. Oh, they'll be fine. We're going to get, we're gonna, you know, in apartment complexes like this, there's some dirt. We're going to get, we're going <laughs> to dive dirt. into the nitty gritty. We're going to dive into the dirt hanging out here at Palm Bay Club. Before we do all that, Matt Pittman, I know that this is a big weekend. There are a lot of fun things going on for people looking for something to do. That's right. As always here on the First Coast, a ton of events, and we'll kick it off with some of our friends over at the Pratt guys. Love them. I think today is the official first day of fall, correct? Uh, yeah. Was or is it, today the last day of summer? Was it? Either way, <laughs> Pratt guys are sending off summer with a huge party tonight. It's their big summer fling. All right, the Pratt guys have teamed up with the big green egg people. So they're gonna have the big green egg grills Those out there. Smokers, right? Yeah. And they're, oh. All right, even better, they're giving away one tonight. They've got a brewery coming out. Wicked Barley Brewing Company is gonna be out there. They're gonna be cooking on the green egg. Your chance to win a green oh. egg. That is tonight from 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. You can go to PrattGuys.com to get details. These guys are amazing. If you're talking about doing a backyard like this, Pool area, yeah. they can do it all for you. Set up the grills, they can set up all this. So yeah. tonight, head over to the Pratt Guys. That's PrattGuys.com for details there. Very cool. What else we got? All right, Intuition L Works has a couple fun events that are coming up, and we'll kick it off tomorrow with their Oktoberfest. It's their sixth annual Oktoberfest. You may be thinking, Matt, it's still September, but that's okay. <laughs> right. I love it's the okay. duck. It's better to be prepared. <laughs> Boy, that duck is really uh, aggressive. He's moving. <laughs> right. So Oktoberfest kicks off tomorrow over at Intuition L Works. You can go to IntuitionL.com to get details. Tomorrow Tomorrow starts at noon, goes till 6 p.m. $10 gets you in, but it gets you that free commemorative cup. You get the pretzel. <laughs> the duck's going to be there. Carl! I'm pretty sure we're bringing the duck. Carl. Is this the footrest? No, this is Howard. This is Howard. It's Howard? <laughs> Howard the duck. All right, they're gonna got? they're gonna have amazing the amazing food is gonna be out there. You know, Black Sheep actually has a cooking area at Intuition, so they're gonna be cooking food as well. Go to intuitionl.com to get details. Fun event over there. Okay, Daly's Place always a fun place for concerts. I know they've I'm, been selling out quite a bit. What's funny? I'm going tonight to Daly's Place to see a band called Young the Giant. Oh, Tomorrow yeah. night. You can head over to Daly's Place to see Lauren Hill and Nas. A lot of people know Lauren Hill, originally yeah. of the Fugees. She sold millions of records. Nas is right behind her on the record yeah. selling chart. So this is a huge show. You can actually go to Daly'sPlace.com. Tickets start out at only $18. So if you're looking for a huge nice. major concert, Daly's Place seems to be the new place to go for live music. So Daly'sPlace.com, yeah. Lauren Hill and Nas. Well, since Met Park got condemned. Well, there you go. I know there's a fun event. Oktoberfest is coming up at Metropolitan Park, yeah. so we'll kick it back off. Yeah. But from there, we'll stick back over at Intuition L Works. You know, I, I'm noticing a theme with you. I have you. been talking about this party for a month or so. The Bold City Best Party is going to be at Intuition L Works on Monday night. I'm so excited about this. We are celebrating what is best here in Jacksonville, and it's going to be on Monday again. It starts at 6.30, goes till 11.30. Tickets are $25, but with that $25, bucks, you get one free beer, free appetizers thanks to Black Sheep. We're going to be doing giveaways. We've got so much fun stuff coming up, so go to boldcitybest.com. Buy your tickets. I'm gonna be. I'm your MC of the event. And oh, I'll be, well, there you go. Who would have guessed? There you. 
<laughs> no, you that'll go. be good. I'm You're just good saying. Scene. You're good can I, can I just fun. say this and, and, and make him blush a little bit? Bro, the promos you've been doing for the Bold City Best Party, Thanks. the one of you running through the city, and then the last one with yeah. Reese, My dog. with your dog, yeah. I mean, just a quality stuff. Thanks, so buddy. funny. Go on Facebook, check those out, but get to the It'll party be because it's going to be a good time. It's yeah, going to be a huge will. time. So go to boldcitybest.com to buy your tickets. And we'll talk about this one last event. This is actually, we're talking about it a little early. It will be on September 30th, Saturday, September 30th. This is Dr. Ali Kazrayan. He's a friend of the yep. show. He's on here all the time. They've got a walk to end prostate cancer. Yep. Yeah. This is a, a great event. Again, we're sticking at Intuition. Intuition owes us some plugs here. <laughs> yeah. Because this is kicking off at Intuition That's L Works where as well. They're going to wind up note after the rock walk slash run. We're gonna, they're not going to be going there beforehand. Right. I know you guys would like to probably reverse things and go there before you do the walk run, but whatever. I'm just saying. It's a, it's a great opportunity. So yeah. zerocancer.org is the website. I know because cool. Dr. Kazrine was on the show yeah. just talking about that. He's, yeah. he's got some great stuff going on. And guys, I know it's kind of might be embarrassing to talk about, but. You need to get it checked yeah. out. They're actually doing free exams. Get more details. Go to this event. We'll talk more about it next Friday as Good well. Deal. Okay. Cool. This is this is the part of the show where I get up and walk out, right? Do you need Howard the Duck? Yeah, we haven't we, practiced this. Do you need well, duck? That would probably be the safe thing. And there's a cup holder. We could have a lot of fun with <laughs> right? this. Or we, it would be memorable the bad way on YouTube. We've um, got we've got a little we've got more coming up. You're gonna go talk to So that's what I'm saying. Are you gonna let there? me pass? Howard. <laughs> yeah, Howard, you gotta let her go. Out of the way, like Howard. I said, we didn't really practice this. Okay, so we're going to go over here because not only are we having fun at the Palm Bay Club of Jacksonville, we are also giving away a lot of free things. But before we get into that, I want to introduce you to two lovely ladies. This is Marcy and Buffy. It's good to see you. Hi. Appreciate you being here. Okay, so talk about where we are exactly. People can come out and tour the place themselves if they'd like, right? Absolutely. We are Palm Bay Club and we're the newest Fort Family Investments luxury living community that's located in the prestigious Bartram Park area of Jacksonville. Our address, just in case you need it, is 13050 Grand Bay Parkway. Perfect. Okay, and now very quickly, because we only have a few seconds here to talk about <coughs> some really fun things that we're going to be giving away over the course of the show, one of which tickets to see the Jaguars. Yes, so we have um, a Jaguar package, and it's two tickets to any Jaguar game of your choice. Um, we also have um, a doggy basket that has Camp Bow Wow and Green Dog Day Spa who have partnered with us. And we also have a movie basket that has a Regal gift card and a Netflix gift card. Okay, so all you have to do is text to win. All you have to do is text the word POM, P-A-L-M, to 25543 by 3 p.m. today. You must be 18 years or older to enter, and we will be giving away each one of these baskets. Yeah. Good to see you ladies. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, you so being much. here. We have a lot more coming up including we talked about it at the top of the show. Chef Tony is here. He is over on the grill. So we're going to be grilling up some steaks which is going to be a lot of fun. He also brought some mahi mahi. Stand by for that. He's doing a little sampling with the fruit. And then coming up next we're going to talk about the dog park here. Coast Living, live from Palm Bay Club. We'll be right back. Let's go. Come on, agility drills. Let's go. Up and over. Up and over. Let's go. What are you doing? Did we not? Let's go. We watched America's Got Talent just the other night. Dogs did it. <sighs> Welcome back, folks. That's right. Most places you, you go to live, they got a pool and they maybe have a gym, but this place has a dog park. Some have a dog run, but this place, look at this massive got an agility course out here my dogs we watched America's Got Talent the other night apparently they didn't pick anything up from that act but it's really cool out here they got all kinds of stuff for you to bring your dog out to well you know it's a fire hydrant they're comfortable with it there's my boy blue this is blue right here he's loving it out here what do you think of what do you think of the Palm Bay dog park really really yeah, I think he likes it. I think he likes it. My boy Bruce has been running around here. He's a little tired. He's out under the bench. But this place is really neat. They got all kinds of stuff here for the dogs. They got a little wash station. And over this way, are you not going to do the agility course? All right. Come on, Bru. Right up here, not just one area for the dog park, but they got two areas. Check this out. How many places that you can live have a pool for your dog? Yeah, there you go.
you go. Get in there. Did you bring a towel, Brew? Yeah, so not many places have a pool for your dog. This place does. Palm Bay is amazing. And we're joined by a couple folks here, some local businesses that, when you move into Palm Bay, got access to them. And they gave some really cool stuff here. Erica Benson, Michelle Hudson. Erica Benson, you're with Green Dog Spa, right? Yes, sir. And what did you put in the basket for the people that are texting to win right now? Uh, we have some grooming specials here and some treats. Nice. And Michelle uh, with uh, Camp Bow Wow, mm -hmm. what'd, you, uh, what'd, you, what'd you throw in there for them? We have a bandana and a tennis ball for your dog to play with. We also have three days of daycare as well as a bath. Where, uh, where are you guys located, Erica? We are on Bay Meadows Road underneath the 295 overpass in the shops of Native Sun. Nice. And what about you, Michelle? We're at 8505 Bay Meadows Road between US 1 and 95. Nice. Have you guys, I mean, I've seen a lot of dog parks and, and mm -hmm. been to a lot of different uh, complexes where people live. You ever seen one like this? This is very nice for an apartment complex. It is amazing. They are very dog friendly, very dog oriented. <laughs> no, this is really cool. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm digging the pool. We're going to get in there in a little bit. Um, but uh, services at uh, Green Dog Spa for cats and dogs, you said? Yes, we offer cat and dog grooming, and we're there five days a week. We've been there for six years, and it's owned by my mother and I, family business. Grooming cats, I thought cats didn't like baths. <laughs> and you guys, you guys cut cats' hair? <laughs> there are some cats that need haircuts. Uh, sometimes they just need to be brushed out. If they're long hair, they might get tangled. Persians, Maine Coon, ragdolls, things like that. But really, <laughs> cats are just greasy sometimes. They need a good bath, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. And then uh, and for Camp Bow Wow, mm -hmm. is it uh, daycare services and overnight boarding? Yes, yes, we offer daycare as well as overnight. It's all day play. They play in indoor outdoor play yards. They're supervised by counselors and divided by size. So they get lots of fun with their friends and lots of love and attention from our certified camp counselors. Very cool. Appreciate mm -hmm. everything you guys gave for the basket. Mm -hmm. Remember, text to win is going until 3 p.m. today. So make sure you text in to win uh, this basket. They got another basket from Jaguars and they got three total baskets to give away. But this one's really cool. I'm gonna, uh, you guys hang on to this because I think the dogs will get that. So like I said, get a chance to win that basket. Bruce, stay out of the deep end. This place is really neat. Look at this. Beach access. We got a bunch more coming up. We got a cooking segment with Publix Outdoor Cooking. That's a sweet grill we showed you earlier. We're gonna get back to that. I'm gonna see if Matt, probably in the gym, we're gonna to get to the gym in a little bit. That's coming up in a while. These guys are gonna cool off. Hey, no burgers, no dogs, all right? And no peeing in the pool. There's a fire hydrant for that. We got more coming up. We'll be back. We're out here at Palm Bay, folks. Amazing, amazing complex. You need to check it out. I know my boys love it. All right, guys. Yeah. There we go. Looking good. Yeah, Blue, get in the water. The water will cool you off. That's why you're panting. Do you understand heat, thermodynamics? <sighs> Try to teach them science. Kids never learn. First Coast Living, live from Palm Bay Club. We'll be back right after this short break. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. Uh. Welcome back. Welcome back to First Coast Living. We're out here with Chef Tony from Publix. Appreciate you joining us and cooking uh, up a feast here on these massive outdoor kitchens that they got. Well, who, How cool is that? It's, it's awesome. Who wouldn't want to be in a setting like this on a Friday or a Monday yeah. or a Tuesday, right? Great grills, great kitchen spaces out here. Guests sitting right here. Boom. It's, it's like you're kind of hanging out at my house. You got a wet bar in the back. You got, I mean, you got everything you need here. Is that a little garbage? A trash can right here. Yeah, I don't have to go. In, don't have to go many places at all so to good, get done so with good. it. What, uh, to and cook you, here. And you have prepared quite the feast. If you want to do some, you know, end of summer backyard barbecue grilling, you've got right? some good hey, ideas. Happy fall. This is happy fall day, right? Look, man, we uh, we put some mahi mahi on the grill. We, we charred off some lemons. Yeah. We have some asparagus. We have onions, radicchio, fennel. We just have some uh, watermelon. It's, it's nice and sweet right now. Feta cheese and a little bit of the uh, grilled mango. And I mean, look at this bad boy right here. I mean, if you're a meat eater. Oh my gosh. That's it right there, huh? You know, I could probably do my best Salt Bay impression if I wanted to, but. Oh uh, yeah. I can still, hey, look, I don't eat it, but I can still appreciate it. That is a gorgeous yeah. piece it's, of meat. It's beautiful. Right? This, is, this is the chef bits right here. This is where I, you know, I serve this, turn around and yeah. there you go. <laughs> take care of that back there by the sink. I know when you weren't looking, I was trying the asparagus, by the way, and it's phenomenal. What, what seasoning? What did you put? It's just salt and pepper? Or well, is it, it is not salt and pepper. I have this little special seasoning that I make using fennel seed, ground coriander, black pepper, and then hit it with a little bit more salt, put it on the grill. I mean, 
it comes out beautiful. It doesn't take long either. I mean, this is out here, really. It's positioned to where you can entertain your guests that are here at the pool, your neighbors out here at the pool, right? And just, you know, it brings a good community feel yeah. to what's going on. That's, yeah. that's what's great about it. They've got an, a mass, I mean, a covered area here with, uh, with TVs and a, another ping pong table, two ping pong tables, which I really like. Um, but so as far as for outdoor grilling, let's get into some of that. Some tips. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't think about grilling uh, fruit. Vegetables is one thing, but grilling oh. fruit. What are some tips for grilling fruit on the grill? You know, we make sure you put a little oil on. I know it sounds a little weird to put oil on your fruit, but that's going to help it not stick. Is and that really, the olive oil? Well, I use spray. Okay. You know, grill spray, what, olive oil, grapeseed, whatever. But what you're looking for is that nice browning, because what's happening is the sugars are cooking. So you're really making the fruit a little bit sweeter mm -hmm. um, when you do it. I mean, watermelon is fantastic grilled with feta cheese and tossed with a little bit of shrimp and, a, and a, just a light vinaigrette. It's fantastic. You know, again, asparagus, fennel, right? This is the forgotten vegetable right here. Fennel should be at every outdoor cook-off. Onions, why cut them up? Cut them into big rings like this those, and put them on the grill. The fennel is great. You cut it into uh, small, thin strips. Mm -hmm. um, goes into goes into some salads really good. The uh, All right, so what kind of fish we got? Mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi. So I just got a couple of mahi-mahi fillets from the seafood department today. Salt, pepper, a little bit of that, Q, that uh, coriander seasoning again. Yeah. Right? You get a little bit of depth. And just, you know, takes about four minutes per side. Well, now, keep cool. your grill hot, too, right? A lot of people make the mistake. They throw stuff on the grill before it's ready. Right? Let the grill get ready. Have one side blazing hot, have another side a little bit lower in temperature. One, if you're cooking a big roast, like a, you know, you got a big rib roast out there. Well, you can sear it over here, slide it to the lower heat side, and close the top, and now you really have an oven outside, so you're not heating up your house. Oh, that's a great right? idea. And it did not take you long to cook this. Everything really here it did not take long to put together. No, you know, my best thing for me is I like to walk up and cook. You sure did right? today, I, yeah. I, I literally didn't... walked up, turned Boom. on the grill, and oh, we're done. Made it happen. And you know, that's how it should be at the house, too, though, right? But just, I mean, out here, you don't want to miss this, right? You don't want to miss the view. You don't want to miss the pool. You don't want to miss your guests coming up here. And, you know, it's really about being a part of it. Something you mentioned about the temperature of the grill is really important, especially for steaks and things. And so a lot of times grills have a, a gauge on top, but that mm -hmm. thing can kind of get burnt out and not work. What, as far as, I mean, laser ones, what do you, I don't see one out here for you. You're a pro. But I, I have one in my jacket. I, you know, I change jackets, kind of get a little bit more festive out here by the pool yeah. as opposed to the white jacket. I actually use a digital thermometer yeah. or just a regular instant read, the, uh, the dial thermometers. Yeah. I use those. Um, that you got to have one of those, you, or you can get the oven thermometer yeah. that you can get inside it inside of the grill and close it, and you'll know how, actually how hot it is. Yeah. Hey, Chef, today you're doing something pretty cool. We're giving away those gift baskets that we talked about at yeah. the top oh, yeah. of the show. You're also giving away three $100 gift cards, good for the cooking school, which we've been raving about. You know, and that's, that's a great way to get people in, too, right? It's a fun time. We, we wine, beer, food, hands on classes, demonstration classes. There's a ton of stuff that we do. And then people, you know, we've been around 11 years, but we're still the best kept secret happening in Jacksonville right now. When guests come in consistently, they say, how do we not know about you? And I'm like, I don't know. You shop at Publix, right? And they're like, well, and yeah. And the classes are fun and they're all themed, right? You do the wine mm -hmm. pairings and everything with it, but they're themed classes. We have one coming up called Wine and Dine Big Sur that's going to happen on the 30th. Um, it's going to be fantastic. So we're focusing on some California wines, California style food. We'll come back at uh, November. Gingerbread houses will go right after... Uh, Thanksgiving, then we'll get into that. Oh, built more estates. The winemaker Bernard DeLille will be coming on November 18th to do a wine pairing dinner with us. Um, Lagunitas is on the uh, on the setup to come in the fourth quarter too. So, and a it's lot all of things. on your website. And we just put it on the screen, but we want to reiterate: if you want to win one of those $100 gift cards, all you have to do is text the word Palm P A L M to 25543 by 3 p.m. today. Right. That's right. That's right. right. On. And uh, and like we, we've talked about, we told you that they're remodeling the cooking school. So these are going to be the last couple classes before the remodel, and then. So yeah, those gift certificates should be good through the end of September next year, too, though. So if you win them, you have uh, 12 months to make it happen. There you go. Good year. Christmas present. Nice. All right, Chef Tony, good to see you, sir. Thank My you, pleasure. as always, for bringing out this feast and for giving us some good information. Uh, coming up here mm -hmm. on this Friday edition of First Coast Living, we're going to show you a little bit more about the amenities here, the indoor theater, the pool tables that Curtis was talking about, and we're also going to take a look at the fitness center and yes. the climbing wall. He's going to test that out firsthand. I'm going to go in there and show you that, and Matt's probably already in there working out, but I'm going to go in there and show you that because the amenities are never ending out here. It's crazy. Good. You go work out. I'll leave, right. and we'll be right back. First Coast Living, live from Palm Bay Club. We'll be right back. Live from Palm Bay Club, this is First Coast Living. 
Welcome back. A moment ago, you saw us outside at the outdoor kitchen having a lot of fun, but now we are joined indoors by Buffy Lowry, who is part of the team here at the Palm Bay Club. It is so good to see you. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful day. You too. So let's talk about the other amenities that you guys say stand out to people when they decide to live here, starting with the theater. Yes, we have an awesome movie theater. Um, we have a Blu-ray player where they can come and bring their own um, Blu-ray DVD. Um, we also have um, Apple TV, so the people that you know are interested in Apple TV can stream their Apple TV to our beautiful, you know, big screen TV. Talk about the seats. The seat, they are amazing. We have leather recliners that lay back. They have lumbar. It's top notch. What about the next step? You have an indoor club room, we you do, say, we is do. fun for hanging out. Yeah, it's um, the residents can come here, they can hang out, they can have family members over. We have a full kitchen, um, microwave, oven, they can come down here and eat. Um, it's open till 10 p.m. every night. And behind us, I see the pool table. Yes, and the pool table does get used a lot. Um, you know, in, like I said, anybody can come in here. Um, the residents can have their friends over, their families over, and um, you know, have a great time in our club room. You say just off of this area is another place that's popular for residents, and that has, you say, one of the best views in the entire complex. It definitely does. We have our um, outdoor seating area, bar area, where a lot of residents go out there. We do have free Wi-Fi, um, so we have residents that come during the day. Um, of course, to look at our amazing pool, um, but we also host events out there, um, so that's a nice um, added feature. And you also say one of the main attractions to being outdoors is the bar. The bar, yes, 100%. We do have um, a refrigerator out there. Um, it always has, you know, ice cold water in it. We have an ice machine so they can refill their drinks. Um, so it's a nice, uh, nice view. And if that wasn't enough, Another thing that's probably unique to a lot of complexes is the game room. Right, so we have a game room that has um, an air hockey table. Um, we also have an Xbox, a PlayStation. We have the controllers, we have the games, they can bring their own. Um, we also have two arcade games, um, they're called the Multicade. So they have good, nice old school games, uh, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, um, and that is all free to the residents to use. Great, okay, in the meantime, let's send it back now to Curtis because there's another key aspect here in the amenities that we're missing, and that is the fitness center, and it's pretty unique, Curtis. Yeah, that's right, Casey, thanks, yeah. The amenities at Palm Bay seem to be never ending, and this is just another one. A lot of places you go and live, an apartment complex has a gym or a fitness center, right? Well, just like everything else here at Palm Bay, not all fitness centers are created equally. Check this place out, this is amazing. They got locker rooms, they have a tread wall, which you may not know about this, but actually, got to take the hat off to work out, otherwise it's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, tread wall. If you've never tried one of these, these things are great. It's just like rock climbing, only you get this thing going over here, right there, and then you got to keep up. Just like you're out on the ledge there. Okay. It's a little tougher with bare feet. Climbing shoes probably would help. But, like I said, most fitness centers, you know, you got all the equipment, you got benches, you got free weights, every single dumbbell you could possibly want. You know, I mean, a lot of people take these little ones, but these right here, I know those are the Matt Pittman weights. Matt uses those, not me. But everything you could possibly want in a fitness center, TVs, mirrors, all this, every single, you know what? That one's shoulders, not really into the shoulders. But, check this out over here. You think you, you think you might be at a Bally's Fitness or an LA Fitness or something like that, the amount of treadmills they got. These are good here, elliptical. Everybody loves these. Are you supposed to go backwards, forwards? Yeah. But, I think I'm doing it right. It's pretty much how it goes, right? One of the things I like about it though, right down here. Like I said, everything here at Palm Bay is a little different. How you guys doing? Sorry. Just getting a little lift in. Uh, a little bit too much weight on that. I don't want to strain the back. But if you're into boxing,
Where's Mayweather? Where's Mayweather? Where's McGregor? Bring it, guys. All the way through the place. Like I said, it's not just four or five machines in here. They got everything you possibly could want. Plus, this is where I usually hang out. Got a little area for the kids. There you go. A little area for the kids to hang out while you work out, just like you're at a regular gym. And again, like all of the other amenities we talked about, this is all part of the package here at Palm Bay. No extra cost for this. And something else that's really cool, there's no extra cost for the fitness class. They do a fitness class here. All the residents are allowed to come to. Isabella's teaching it right now. She told me I'm a little late. Got to get stretched out and get in there. But there's so much here to do at Palm Bay. We've shown you so many different places. Obviously the pool, no pool I've ever seen in an apartment complex like that. Dog park, even the dogs have a pool here. We showed you that. And the fitness center. I'm gonna get a little workout in before we come back. We got a bunch more coming up. Let me get a little stretched here first. Shoot them for a little bit. I'm just gonna get a little stretched out. Isabella, this is Isabella. She's the instructor here. You come Hello? out here. You come out here and teach for the for the residents for free, right? Yes, for free, exactly. How great is that? She works all over town. Comes out here. All the residents here at Palm Bay get no a free fitness teacher. All. No charge. All with the package. Is this uh? Is this what I need? That will probably be good. Yeah. Okay. You can start there. All right. What are we doing? Here we go. All right. We're doing squat. You ready? Sure. Give me a hundred. <laughs> like like one zero zero? Yeah. You got all right. Here we go. Uh, Jeff, just put this on loop and kind of rewind. Here we go. That's not cheating. Come on. Easy. Don't tell them. Don't All tell right, them on TV. Yeah. Damn. Oh, jumping yeah. Jump. Jumping. Like... Squats. No, man. Give me some pluck. She's All a right. grinder, folks. Damn. And out. Good. Perfect. And down. Perfect. Good work, gal. You got this. There we go. Nice. There we go. Come on. How many more we got? We got like 98. 98? <laughs> Hold on. I think I pulled something. I think I pulled something. You know what? Here you go. Hang okay, on to that. I got it for you. You, you sure? Hold with two hands. It's heavy. I, I, I got it. All right. Thanks, Isabella. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's the quad. Yeah, it's an old, you know, old, old war injury. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go stretch. I'm going to go stretch. Look. Like I said, everything here at Palm Bay is amazing. This gym, you're not going to find one like it at another apartment complex. We got a unit tour coming up next. You're going to see one of the apartments here. Case is going to take you through there. So stick around, folks. More coming up at First Coast Living here at Palm Bay. Woo. First Coast Living, live from Palm Bay Club. We'll be back right after this short break. Welcome back. I'm joined by Candace Edwards. She's part of the team here at the Palm Bay Club, and she wanted to take us inside to see what one of the units looks like so people can get an idea. So walk us through. This is our Ravanala first off. This is our largest two bedroom floor plan. So it's 1,351 square feet. Um, all of our two bedrooms have two masters. So both bedrooms are going to have their own private bathroom and walk-in closet. Now, as you walk into the unit, the first thing that you'll see is on the right, you have your half bath, which everyone loves. We all like half bath. So no one has to use your own private bathroom. Um, you'll see that there's a huge dining space on your left, and then you'll see the laundry room on your right, which is right beside your utility closet. A lot of storage space there. Now you'll see the kitchen to, your, to the front of you where you'll see the stainless steel appliances, 42 inch um, sh white shaker cabinets, and also the wood plank flooring throughout. Every unit has 10 foot ceilings and eight foot doors. Um, the living room is very spacious, has two French doors that lead out to the patio. These are all corner units, so you only have one connecting apartment to you. Now, as you walk into the guest bedroom, which is also a master, but it's a little smaller, then you'll see that you have plenty of space for a king-size bed, two nightstands, and a dresser, a huge walk-in closet. So in the bathroom, you have the, the wood-style flooring, you have plenty of counter space, you have a single vanity in the guest bathroom. You have floor to ceiling ceramic tile, just tons of space. Now this master bedroom is 14 by 11 square feet. It's huge. You have plenty of space for a king size bed and two nightstands. In addition to a dresser, maybe even a TV stand. This is a huge bedroom. In the master bathroom, you have a double vanity sink. You have a walk-in shower. Also, you still have the floor to ceiling ceramic tiles. 
I did want to mention that Court Furniture provided all of this beautiful furniture that we have in this apartment. We do have a partnership with them and we do offer furnished apartments, so that is an option. Thanks, Candace. Appreciate the time. Curtis, out to you. I don't know. The pool. Hey, how you doing, folks? That's right. We've given you all of the information. We've showed you the place, but we're going to talk to a couple residents here when we get back. We'll get the dirt on really what goes down over here and find out what it's like to live here. Yeah, it's going to be good. Stick around. We'll be right back with more First Coast Living. First Coast Living, live from Palm Bay Club. We'll be right back. Just cruising in. Happy Friday, folks. That's right, we're back here at Palm Bay Club. Just enjoying the pool here. Matt and I somehow convinced everybody to come out here and enjoy a lovely day. We have Nicole and Carson, residents here. So we've shown the yes. place off. We've shown a lot of the amenities here. We've shown the different areas, dog park. But people want to hear from people who live here why you chose to live here. Right, so we chose to live here not only because of the amazing price, the amenities, um, the aesthetic of the place, but also because the front office staff is so nice. We've had uh, different experiences at different places, you know, and that really does make a huge difference. But um, we, we just, we love it here. Now, Carson, you're here, you, yes. you live here with you and your boyfriend mm -hmm. and your dog. Our dog, Miko. And Nicole, you have your three wonderful kids. Yes. And you have two dogs. And two dogs and my husband. And we chose to live here not just because the amenities that myself and my husband would be able to, you know, experience, but also because they have amazing amenities for our children. They have a game room. They have um, a movie theater. Like who, where can you find a, a home that you can live? Yeah. A playground. There's just so much for the entire family, and we just love it. And I couldn't agree with Carson more. The staff here is our family. We moved from New Jersey, so we have no family here. Um, Marcy and her entire staff are our family, so it's just been nothing but amazing. The uh, the area, though, the area that, that we're in, I mean, it, it, did that factor into, you know, this is kind of the, the, the untouched area of Jacksonville being built, you know, built up more. Um, what, what made you pick this place over some others that I'm sure you looked at around town? For me, the it was just so modern. I cannot believe how beautiful the insides of these apartments, homes are. I mean, it, talk about luxury. Oh, That's yeah. what stood out most to me. I mean, our washer and dryer is in our closet. You really can't ask for more. <laughs> but um, I mean, there's a grocery store right near. I know her kids go to a school, bike riding distance, and um, there's upcoming restaurants. And Jacksonville is known for, you know, has a lot of traffic, but now around here, it's it's really not an issue. Yeah. yeah. Now, Amazing. You, you both admitted that y'all come down here and hang out a lot. Yeah, we do. Yeah. What's so great about this area? Because I, I have zero complaints since we showed <laughs> right, up this morning. Right. There's I mean, no there's complaints. everything. The pool is huge. You ha you can see you have the, um, you know, floats inside the pool. The duck's here. here. You can't, yeah, complain about Howard. that. But there's ping pong. There's, you know, we have places to cook out. There's pool tables. There's, um, the towels, they have ballet towels. And, yeah, I mean, ballet towels. Like where, where, it's at, yeah. Yeah. where else do you know somewhere that has ballet right. towels for you? So you get to come down to the pool, you get to enjoy the sun, enjoy friends, meet other people in the community. Like they, they yeah. have specific events on different nights down here at the pool, up at the front office where they do more things to get us as neighbors to oh, be yeah. able to come more friendly with each other. each other. Almost every single day, whether it's um, Thirsty Thursday for the adults or Ooh. we had a giant pool party. I'm here. Every Taco <laughs> Tuesday, my kids love Taco Tuesday. Yeah, every Wednesday there is a um, boot camp at the gym, yes. which our gym is beyond incredible. Right. My boyfriend's personal trainer and he canceled his gym memberships because our gym's that our gym yeah. is modernized amazing. and amazing. We yeah. had wall. We do yeah. have a treadmill. We have a treadmill. We just showed that off, we just showed that off a little bit ago, yeah. and, and I'm telling you, man, I've, I lived in a lot of apartment complexes over the 21 years here in town, and I've never seen a fitness center like that. Um, but let's get into, you know, look, every apartment complex, you're close to your neighbors. Yeah. You know, there's 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 some some stuff. You can see the stuff going on at the pool. Let's dish some dirt, you know. What, uh, we got we got any, ro I know you guys are, you know, have your boyfriend and your husband and stuff, but you seen any budding romances with the uh, with the single single folks moving in? Not yet, but we're going to keep an eye out for you. Yeah, now, now that I know that there could be dirt, I'm going to come sit out on my porch. <laughs> yeah, I, <there> <laughs> pool, so I can't people that. watch. I tell you, <laughs> that's what we were talking about. To pick a place, if you want to look at the pool there, you know, for a single person, you know, you can check out the pool and then you, you go, go down and meet people. But something opening up on the 30th here, the dog park, we showed off. Yes. You guys yes. have to be really excited, so excited about that, right? You, yeah, said you're, you said your dog is already a celebrity of the neighborhood. Yeah, everyone seems to know him. 
him and I don't seem to know everybody. He's what, did he get out of the house? My dog, not with me, I don't know. He's a little social butterfly, but I cannot wait for that dog park to open. I know you guys showed it with the pool and then all the other fun things. He just wants to run around. Happy, yeah. So. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, Absolutely. What, uh, so we've got the grills here. What, what do you guys, have, have they had the socials out here? I mean, I've, I've not been at an apartment complex that allows you, now I just have orange juice, but you guys, sure. I think, have something else. Hey. I've not, <laughs> I've not seen a lot of apartment complexes that allow you to, to hang out by the pool with, with yeah. drinks. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, we, we get to just come down here and be ourselves. There's grills where we're able to grill and chill, literally. Yeah. Um, grill we've come chill. down. Like we, New hashtag, we, grill, <laughs> grill and chill. Yep, That's right, that. SEL on that one. <laughs> best things is every they have fridges everywhere every fridge stocked with water sodas fun drinks for the kids i mean everyone yeah we showed off the lot the the, the clubhouse right yeah. behind us over there the the lobby has a, a coffee you can come down and get your coffee head coffee off the bar my, yeah yeah my husband I loves the coffee bar yeah never ending i think out here. the place is just knocking it out everywhere we got we're covering everything it's it's amazing appreciate you guys joining us just yes, in the dirt you. uh casey's got some ideas for some decorating of the uh of your unit out here what do you got casey right, technically i don't have any ideas <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever seen my place you probably know that I'm really lacking in that department but Lori Taylor is joining <laughs> us and she does have some ideas on how you can decorate your space it's good to see you Lori thanks Thank for you, joining Casey. us thanks and for I know me. you brought a lot of your beautiful pieces out with you we'll get into your store that you have in a second mm -hmm. but talk about things that people can do simple things to really accentuate uh, uh, their own spot I think the main thing is that, you know, in, in rental properties, a lot of times you end up with neutral palette. So in order to do a breakaway from the neutral palette, bring pops of color. So do topical decorations like pillows and area rugs and things of that nature that seem pretty, you know, the common thing, but it really does make an impact. Um, this is perfect example of the neutral palette in this pool area and then pops of blue is phenomenal. So that's kind of the idea. And you say artwork as well, things that you can put on the wall. A lot of people, you know, are concerned about, oh, you know, hanging things on the wall or whatnot, exactly. but you say it makes a huge difference, obviously. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. To really hone in and get that personal touch is utilizing your walls. Do something that's really dynamic on your walls. I can go into a space and decorate it, and until the accessories come in, it is so boring. <laughs> and when you add your artwork, it's when it just comes to life. Adding the artwork, and you also say layering. What do you mean by layering? Okay, layering, I like to do, say for instance, you have a fireplace. Uh, rather than thinking of just hanging one item over a fireplace, do a layering effect similar to this right here, depending on the depth that you have. You could use a mirror in the background, and then just layer some pieces on top of that so you get that creative look. And then, you know, because some people have stone fireplaces and things that they can't really put hooks in there, gives you an opportunity to kind a layer and, and give you more depth. And last but not least, bringing nature. We have so many beautiful uh, uh, areas throughout absolutely. Jacksonville and beyond. That, that is so strong. Whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. So strong right now. Um, this, for instance, is shells. Everybody loves shells, especially living in Florida. Everybody should have and shells. And you purchased all those, or they came some, from your store. Yes, yes. Some of these I sell at the store. Some of these um, I kind of um, have collected through the years and made a little uh, embellishment of a bowl of all the things that I have. But yes, you know, bring in pieces like the branches, uh, manzanita wood, things like that that give you a piece of nature. And very quickly, uh, in our last minute, uh, yeah. tell us about your store, where you're located and what, what you have and where people can pick up your stuff. Okay, I'm 3915 Hendricks Avenue. It's San Marcos South, and I represent about 50 local artists. Um, I do artwork myself. I'm a decorator, and we sell furnishings and accessories. Good deal. Thank Bring you. these ideas to your home. Absolutely. Good to see you. Thank you, Lori. Thank Appreciate you, Casey. you being here. We'll have a lot more from the Palm Bay Club when we return, and we will be right back on this Friday edition of First Coast Living. Stick around. First Coast Living, live from Palm Bay Club. We'll be back right after this short break. There we go. There we go. Talk about a fun day. What a fun day a by the pool. Party. It is fun. It was a lot of fun. Good great. food, good folks, good tips yeah. on how to decorate your space. I mean, it was. Uh, we enjoyed it. And by the way, we're giving a lot of uh, a lot of stuff away for free. That's right. That's right. I can't say it enough. We've said it throughout this. I've I've lived in many apartment complexes in Jacksonville over 21 years, and I've never seen one like this. I swear, when I walked in the first time, I thought it was a hotel, like Ritz Carlton pool area. I've never seen something like this. It's pretty amazing. 
You yeah. guys, I know you've been having fun on the floaties too. Of course. I mean, you can't complain. They brought us out to a pool on a <laughs> I know, Friday. I know. They brought us out to a pool on a Friday. I know, before you're getting ready to leave for a few weeks. I know, I'm heading off to Thailand, folks. I'll be gone for three weeks. I will miss all of you. Who says that? I'm just heading off to Thailand. For three uh, weeks. I will miss all of you. Uh, I'll miss you guys. Um, and he says. But I'm going to send back, uh, I'll be doing some snaps and it'll send back a ton of pictures. Um, but yeah, we're going, my wife and I, it's her uh, 30th birthday, and we're going Thailand, Vietnam. Cambodia. Um, really looking forward to it. Never been over to that area. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. I'm super excited for you. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So I know you'll I take try, a little bit of a break from here. I will try all the food yes. for you. Yes, I, I want to know. I've always asked Look, him about the food we, when he goes on his adventure. And let me just tell you, Casey and I talk, she's going to miss you so much. I am. I really, I was crying earlier, but you know, I don't have waterproof mascara on. And so, you know, I didn't want to. My little you know. sis. I'm the youngest of four and I finally got a little sis. <laughs> Finally got a younger yeah. sister. I'm excited for you. Be safe, though, because, I mean, that's not like you're traveling next door. Of course. By the way, text to win. Want to give you more information if you want to win one of those prize packs, yes. right? Because you can win tickets to the Jaguars, yes. or you can win a movie theater package, or three $100 gift cards to Publix right. for their cooking school. Need, I know you guys want to We need to do one final shot. We need to do one final shot as we're closing out the show. Matt, you go that way. Casey, tell me. So text, as they do whatever it is they're doing, text to 25543 by 3 p.m. today, POM. To win the gifts. Ready? Take it away, guys. Go, 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 go. Did you get it?